take you now to New York's Stewart International Airport in New Windsor, New York, where a plane with damaged tires made an emergency landing. The plane was reportedly carrying rapper Post Malone. CBS News transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve is tracking this story from our D.C. Bureau. Chris, what can you tell us? We're looking at the plane right now. It seems to be rolling along the runway, but the tires on one side do appear to be bigger than the tires on the other. Is that significant? Yeah, Tanya, we know that the, the two tires on the left side of the main gear, the ones under the wing, um, blew out during takeoff at New York's Teterboro Airport uh, around 1135 this morning. That plane was bound for London, so it had a lot of fuel on board. You're hearing a little bit of noise here. That's the air traffic control audio uh, from the tower there at Stewart Airport. Um, the plane took off from Teterboro around 11:35 today, bound for London. It had a lot of fuel on board, 16 people on board. Those two rear left tires blew out on takeoff. The pilots knew it immediately and then basically circled for four hours off the coast of Long Island uh, as they figured out what airport to go to and what their plan would be. Uh, they had to burn through a lot of fuel that makes the plane lighter. Um, you, you know, there are uh, several sets of wheels on that plane. You can see there are six tires in total on that Gulf Stream. Uh, two of them were flat. Uh, fire trucks and ambulances were waiting on scene as they were certainly concerned about how this would go. It is not an easy landing trying to land with two flat tires, but it is not unheard of. And clearly these pilots were managed to do it uh, without an issue. Uh, but this was uh, some, some tense moments here as we've been watching this plane circle for hours, loaded down with fuel and 16 people. Um, TMZ and others are reporting that the rapper Post Malone is on board this aircraft, uh, which certainly garnered a lot of attention to its path on social media today. Uh, but the plane is now safely on the ground at uh, Stewart Airport outside of Manhattan. Uh, that's up towards Poughkeepsie. Chris, uh, yes, Tanya. do we have any idea what might cause tires to blow on takeoff? Uh, you know, it can be a host of things. It can be they may have impacted something while they were going down the runway. Um, the, the tires could have gotten uh, hot during takeoff. Uh, it could also be that, you know, just like in your car, sometimes you, 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 you hit something in the road or sometimes the tires just wear out. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of possibilities as to what could cause that. It, it does happen from time to time. It is not an unheard of issue, uh, but it is not one that you would want to try to fly across the Atlantic with if you're not sure you're going to be able to get back safely on the ground. So the, the pilots decided very quickly they wanted to get, wanted to return to an airport. Um, initially declining to declare an emergency, but uh, they then wanted to circle for several hours to burn off fuel. The lighter that, you know, when the plane takes off, it is loaded down with fuel. It's very heavy, particularly when you're going to be looking to go across the country uh, or, or across an ocean. So you don't really plan to land it that way. You plan to land with a plane that's much lighter, and you want to be as light as you can, particularly when you're coming in under non-ideal circumstances like today. So the only danger then to a plane with blown tires is on the landing, correct? It does not impact the actual flight of the plane? It shouldn't, no, unless uh, unless there is more damage than just to the tires. In this case, the tires stayed on the plane. They just appeared flat when they did a flyby. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, we saw this plane fly to a low pass by the airfield, and then we heard the tower come on and tell them, uh, your, your left two wheels are intact, uh, but they appear to be flat. Uh, and then they circled for another about 20 minutes and then came in and landed. And that's the video you're looking at now is that plane taxiing down uh, the Stewart Airport runway. Um, no doubt and, very relieved yeah. passengers on board, including the pilots. Certainly. Is that, does it take a lot of expertise to, to be able to land a plane like that? Well, certainly it, it adds a degree of difficulty to the landing when you're going to do it with two flat tires and you don't necessarily know how those tires are going to respond. Certainly by the time you've brought that plane to a stop, those tires have been shredded. Think about driving your car on a flat tire um, now and, and doing it at a high rate of speed trying to slow down. It, it does bring a degree of difficulty here and there was enough concern that there were at least five ambulances on scene and, uh, and fire trucks waiting at the end of the runway. So. Uh, it is not an ideal circumstance. It would be challenging piloting, but certainly uh, a very possible landing and had the outcome that everyone was hoping for here. Well, well done on the part of those pilots. And Chris Van Cleve, thank you.